Hi again folks, this is Craig from Oliver's Funeral Home. I'm one of the funeral directors and embalmers here at the funeral home and I wanted to talk to you today about why we do hair and cosmetics when somebody has a visitation. Usually when you come to a visitation with an open casket you often will see that people are wearing makeup and their hair has been done. When we're meeting with families who know that they're going to have an open casket visitation we often ask that they bring a recent picture in. That way we know how they styled their hair and we know how they wore their makeup. This way we can produce the most positive viewing experience possible. We have two ladies here at the funeral home who have a combined about 40 years experience with doing hair. So here you can be assured that the hair style that you're looking for your loved one to have for their visitation is being done by a professional. Now, especially during the world of COVID-19, lots of folks have gone weeks or if not months without getting their hair cut. Because the ladies we have on staff are, have so much experience, we can give the folks a haircut if they need a haircut. We can style their hair the way they want it. And if folks sometimes are in the hospital for a long time and they need to be, sh and they need to be shaved, if they have a beard and they're not supposed to have a beard, we can look after that too. At the same time, I wanted to talk to you about sometimes why the cosmetics look the way they do. Mortuary cosmetics are different from commercial cosmetics. Oftentimes the feedback that we get is that people look really made up, and there's a reason for that. Commercial cosmetics, the chemistry behind them is different than the mortuary cosmetics in that once a person passes away, they're no longer producing body heat, and they're no longer producing natural oils. So the cosmetics that mortuary, the cosmetics that we use for open casket visitations, because that chemistry is different, we have to produce those oils and those, chem those cosmetics have to produce the rosy tone that you see in the cheeks. So again, that is a lot of the reason why sometimes when you come in the people look made up is because the chemistry in the commercial cosmetics that folks are wearing in their day-to-day -day life is different than when they're in their casket. If you have any questions regarding how we do hair and cosmetics here at the funeral home, you're always welcome to call at 780-532-2929 or send us an email at info at oliversfuneralhome.com.